Hey, what is everybody? This is your boy, No One Shot. Come at you with yet another Star Trek Week Command video. Today, we're going to do kind of like a follow up to Rev's video about the spend in this game, how pay to win the game has become in the last five years. But before we jump in the video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, hit that bell notification down below, right below that. Don't forget to leave a comment of how you feel about the video or what you think about the video. And don't forget, there are donation links listed down below and I do stream on Twitch. Go check those out in the description. So as we dive into the video, we're gonna be talking about how pay to win focus this game has become. And one of the biggest things that pay to win focus recently, well, besides PVP officers, that has been kind of a stir up for mining Mondays is the Ferengi whip. And if anyone doesn't know the Ferengi whip, let me see if I can pull it up. So the Ferengi whip was just meant to do originally. I have it when I heard what it could do. I did it. So sorry, I, I, I don't like mining Latinum. Um, as you see here, it's a 40,000 bonus. It should have been some other one, but Scopely screwed up somewhere along the code and made it almost well, they gave it a win. So when I would go out to node, a triple, a double node, it's about almost 100K an hour. I saw a photo of Rebs when he did it. It was like 130K an hour out of this. And this has made Mining Monday a pay to win event. No matter what you do, the only person you're competing against is someone with the whip. If you're more consistent than them, you're going to win. If you're not, you're going to lose no matter how you look at it. So Mining Monday has become a pure pay to win event and no events in the game should ever be a pay to win event. Unless it's like, even if we go down to the officers, we're going down to the officer ones. Um, let me put my ships in while we're talking about this. Since I am in a TC, let me pull you guys back in quick. Sorry for the, the stop there. All right. So back to it so other events to become pay to win have really hit the point of i since i'm rev is 46 i'm 56 so you know there's a level difference there and a resource requirement difference on a lot of these events that come into the game here's one example where we're getting micro or micro push we're getting pushed every week to either if we don't have enough resources you have to pay for the resources and then on top of that you're only getting your basic not even a full unlock which to me these heroic events need to be changed and besides that like these heroic events need to be changed too they are asking too much resources and if you're spending that much resources it should give you a insta unlock no matter how you look at it, it should be an insta unlock of it if you can finish these ones and then we go down because at that point we're not going to get unlock when we look at this even like we're competing against people that are putting 85 billion million whatever points out there and you have to basically buy packs on packs on packs on packs to be able to compete with somebody which this game shouldn't be any event that in the game unless it's labeled as heroic shouldn't be technically paid to win besides they do they need to change this up because it needs to be an instant long because people spend this is probably like over a thousand two thousand dollars in materials i spent as you see half that and i'm in 13th place and I know some of your events aren't as big as mine, but they are pretty bad no matter how you look at it. Because we have events that go down to like, or we have officers, like every month or every few months, we get a new set of officers that kind of now lately have been killing PvP officers. So let's say, let's use Istio Cat as an example. He unlocks shacks. Okay. He spent what, thousands, thousand dollars on them. And the next few months later, that officer that you spent thousands of dollars on is null and void for example our strike teams and let me look at the strike teams like right here battleship strike team has become null and void with guess what the new meta right here freeman crew or just freeman alone kills it or you go over here null and voids it again or then you have uh what is his name ransom null and voids it there with morale like Scopely took a new step into the game that chose to change the game and its PVP centers every few months. It makes it almost near impossible to keep up with others in PVP. At this point, PVP, of course, has become a pay to win event. For example, again, if you want to like keep your bubble down, enjoy your day, go fly about the galaxy, just have a good time. And now if somebody hits you, you have like a bold defense or a bold or ocean defense. You're like, ah, oh, I can, I can get a few hits and no one's going to get in. 
wrong. Where's it at? Right here. This made it wrong because even if you had like ROM on board or they said pawn, they said pawn in the notes, but ROM on board uh, or ROM as your captain attacking the station, attacking your station, if they're attacking your station, they wouldn't pass the first round or they would get, wouldn't get past the first round because you had crash on board, which defeats ROM. And it'd be a fair fight because it didn't delay the combat. Now they have an ability or a prime that does that for you. As you see right here, when attacking a station, delay opponent's ship and defense platforms, weapons fire for a number of rounds, blah, blah, blah. So your first round, they fire on you. You're defenseless. Crash ain't doing anything for you. And if they're 50 plus, they have two rounds. So they're going to annihilate all your ships pretty quickly. Yeah, I know it can work the reverse order if you're attacking someone else, but in general, it's not right to in introduce that in the game because there's no defense against that. It's a prime you spend $200 on and you're basically going to beat anybody that is lower to you. Let's say a level 60 player comes in, you're level 56, 57, 54, 46, ocean defense or whatever defense you have upright at that time. You can usually defeat them. Now they're going to one shot you basically in a heartbeat, which shouldn't be. They shouldn't be catering to those bigger players. Next, what Sobu's going to introduce another prime that says prime station defense delay or whatever delays attackers defense just to null and void this so that 100 bucks is wasted. Let's use an example that he Rev used in this video is DJ. DJ spent $600 or 1000 or whatever he spent just on a Mayflower three years ago. Okay. And now that is dirt cheap and he probably recycled it, scrapped it, whatever you want to call it a, year, a few years ago. Let's use an example. One of my first videos I put out there, I spent about $1,000 upgrading or just getting the ship, just getting the enterprise. There's a thousand. I think it was $600 I spent. It was about the same as DJ. And what now? Three, four years later, it's become one of those ships that I use just to swap officers around because it's a max ship. Like this game has become majorly focused on pay to win events, pay to win primes, pay to win everything. Like if we go down to like, like primes, yeah, example, good primes, we'll go to primes. So again, we look at, uh, this one right here. So right here, they've been using this one more than like this prime valor emblem. So in the day primes used to cost you G4, G5, whatever material that was sourceable in game. And Scopely figured that out, and they didn't like that. So what Scopely and the Infinite Wisdom did made a currency that you can't source in game, that you can't get primes for free. In my opinion, primes should be sourceable for free, no matter how you look at them. Like at least I did it with like the diodes. You're able to get them for free. Oh, well, eventually, like eventually. But they decided with the Infinite Wisdom to blockade it up around your wallet which that shouldn't be possible. There are primes that are massively pay to win that give the battle to the people who spend the money and the free play players cannot source them. In my opinion, these all should be G4, G5, G6 materials. Even if it's G6, you'll eventually be able to get them once G6 comes out in the game. Like in my opinion, this game has become way pay to win for most players. I'm not saying quit. I'm not saying any of that. I'm just saying, I'm just showing some of the frustration amongst players. And I love this game. I've been at this game for almost five years. I was featured recently in their trivia video and another one coming up really soon. But I am disappointed with how the game is going right now because it is majorly like pay to win focused. And it wasn't fully that way for a long time, but they're doing it for your rep. They're doing it for your primes. They're doing it for your officers. They're doing it for now mining. Like, Give a free to play player or dolphin a chance to be able to compete against the whale. Let us be able to compete. It shouldn't be the way it is now. Scopely, please hear Deuce. Please hear me. I know. Please hear DJ. He's be screaming at you eventually, or he already has. But that's it for the frustration, guys. I love this game. I just get disappointed at times. Five years in this game, I'm still around for you guys. Remember, ask questions, leave comments. I'm here. Don't forget there are. Well, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. There's a member button. If you do want to join, you'll be able to feature at the end of the video. A special place in my Discord. Discord is linked down below. There are donation links down below. PayPal, Cash, and Venmo if you want to support the channel. And there is a Zelle. You just got to hit me up for that. And don't forget, I do stream on Twitch tentatively Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Or Monday, 
Wednesday, Friday from 1 to 2.30 Pacific Standard Time. All right, guys. It is your boy, No One Shall, coming, checking out. I'll talk to you guys later.